Welcome to my channel, everyone! Surniabat Sadiq Abdullah is a divisive character in Bangladeshi politics, and he will be the subject of my discussion today. From 2018 until 2023, he served as mayor of Barisal, one of the biggest cities in Bangladesh. He is also the grandson of a former president of Bangladesh and the son of a notable Awami League member. But who exactly is he? And why did he encounter so much opposition and commotion while serving as mayor? Let's investigate! Abul Hazanat Abdullah and Shehan Era Abdullah welcome Surniabat Sadiq Abdullah into the world at Barisal. He describes himself as self-educated and has no official schooling. He was selected by the governing Awami League to run in the 2018 election for Barisal City Corporation. He served as the Awami League's Joint Secretary for Barisal City. He defeated his closest opponent, Mazabur Raman Sarwar of the Bangladesh Nationalist Party, by more than 94,000 votes, winning the election by a landslide. At the Prime Minister's office in Dhaka, he was sworn in by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. However, accusations of vote rigging and intimidation tainted his triumph. The candidates for the Communist Party of Bangladesh and Islami Andalan Bangladesh boycotted the election on the grounds that their agents had been ejected from polling places and that ballot boxes had been filled with fictitious ballots. Numerous Bangladesh Nationalist Party activists were arrested by the authorities before the elections. Violence and irregularities during the voting process were also observed by several observers and media agencies. Surniabat Sadiq Abdullah experienced several difficulties and issues throughout his tenure as mayor. He was charged with power abuse, nepotism, poor management, and corruption. He received criticism for his exorbitant spending and opulent lifestyle as well. He allegedly invested 20 million taka, approximately 235,000 US dollars, in remodeling both his home and workplace. For his own usage, he also purchased a premium automobile for 15 million taka, or around 176,000 US dollars. He often traveled with a sizable group of bodyguards and followers. He also received criticism for his acts and remarks from the general public and the media. For instance, he chose to forego attending a voter meeting that Citizens for Good Governance, Shujin, a group from civil society that advocates for openness and accountability in politics, had planned. In addition, he made a legal threat against anybody who disparaged him online. He once said that he would put an end to any protests or resistance in his city. Additionally, he said that he had the authority to shut down any media source that published unflattering stories about him. Attacking local government official Tariq Salman at his home in September 2020 was one of the most significant acts that damaged his image. A gang of men headed by Surniabat Sadiq Abdullah's brother-in-law is accused of assaulting Uno Tariq Salman over a property dispute. Uno Tariq Salman was seriously hurt in the incident, which has caused indignation throughout the country. Justice for Uno Tariq Salman was requested, and Surniabat Sadiq Abdullah was asked to resign or be arrested. Surniabat Sadiq Abdullah said that there was a plot against him and denied having any part in the incident. He was then identified as the main suspect in two charges brought by Tariq Salman and his wife, a Udo official. He was charged with manipulating the witnesses and impeding the inquiry. Finally, in October 2020, the police apprehended him and jailed him. Surniabat Sadiq Abdullah, who had been in jail for more than four months, resigned from his position as mayor in February 2021. He said he wanted to concentrate on his legal conflicts and disprove the accusations made against him. He also thanked the Awami League and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina for their assistance. His resignation made it possible for Barisal City Corporation to hold new elections. This is the tale of Surniabat Sadiq Abdullah, the former mayor of Barisal, who attained great political success before losing it due to a string of scandals.
What do you believe about him? Consider him to have been an excellent or terrible mayor. Do you anticipate him entering politics again? Please share your opinions in the space provided below. For more videos like these, remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.